What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. I hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. Hope your summer's treating you well so far. Everything is fantastic in the world of Internet Man watching the Beard Brand video. Wanted to talk about something that is really important your beard's going to look like shit. it's just going to look like shit. now i'm not saying it's going to look like shit all the time but at least once or at least once in a while you'll wake up you'll shower you'll do your normal routine and for whatever damn reason your beard looks like shit. happens to me all the time Probably because, like, I have a good beard, but not the best beard in the world. In fact, look at this photo. See, like, it's just all scraggly and waggly and b-ball babalagy. And, uh, I don't know, I probably got tens or hundreds more photos of my beard just literally looking like sh**. But... On the other end of it, sometimes the beard looks fantastic. Like, unbelievably awesome. Like, you should be a beard model kind of days. And those days are like the best kind of days out there. So, I want to encourage you guys that when your beard is looking like sh**, take comfort in knowing that every dude's beards look like sh** at some point. In addition to that, don't try to compare your beard to the best beards on the planet. You know, these guys like Ricky Hall, uh, Chris Millington, um, uh, me, the other YouTube channel guys who have wonderful beards. Um, genetically speaking, we're kind of anom anomalies. I wouldn't even put myself up there. I've been to... I've been to more beard competitions than I can count, and uh, I never win. I never win. So they're like even in the competitive bearding world, like this beard is nothing. It's it's nothing. So uh, I just want to encourage you guys to surround yourself around positive people, so that when you're having one of your bad beard days, that you'll be able to get through it and then get to one of your good beard days. Because the worst thing that can happen is. When you're dealing with one of your beer, bad beard days, you decide and go trim off two or three inches from your beard, and then all of a sudden you're missing it. So along those lines, the bearded brotherhood, we are a good brotherhood. We are a very friendly and open, wonderful bearded community. And what I encourage you guys to do is whenever you see another dude with a nice beard, um, give him the nod and say, good beard, man, good beard. And, uh, you know, if you're close to them enough, just say hello. Speaking of which, if you ever see me in public, then feel free to come up and say hi and say, Hey, Eric, uh, I saw your videos. You're the best person in the world. Or if you're that one dude that doesn't like me, Oh, Eric, you're a douchebag. You're such an idiot. Go to hell. And then I'll go home and sulk for a little while. But uh, just encouragement, uh, enjoy your beard. You're going to have bad days, you're going to have good days. Um, but we all do. It's all part of, of being a beardsman, just like your head hair. You're going to have good head hair days, and you're going to have bad head hair days. So uh, hopefully I've helped keep someone's beard on. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Cheers. And beard on.